Hi, my name is Chris Gray and I'm the Director of Music here at Truro Cathedral in the UK. This is a short video to introduce you to the song G7. I hope you'll have been uh, listening to it and watching the video already. And uh, thank you for joining thousands of voices all over the world and our choristers here in Truro to, to sing what is uh, a really fun and special song coming up to the G7 Summit. We're going to start with a look at the chorus sections of the song and there's a separate video to deal with the verses and if you watch both videos you'll be able to sing the whole song all being well. So the choruses. There are four choruses and they have pretty much the same notes so it won't take you long to get the lovely memorable tune in your head. Um, so four choruses, each chorus has four lines so 16 lines in total and each line starts with the word G7. So you've already learned lots of the words before you've even started. Um, I hope that you've got access either to a sheet with the words on it or to the music and I'll uh, give you page references and bar numbers if you have the actual sheet music. So four choruses, we're going to start with chorus number one. Um, I'll sing a little bit then you sing it back to me. So we start with G7, you're an influential integer. Let's have a go. And one, two. G7, you're an influential integer. And when you get really unusual words like that, you have to enunciate them very clearly. Influential integer. Why don't you just say those words with me? You ready? Influential integer. And once more, influential integer. So for these first three choruses, we're really talking about the number seven and how significant it has been across history, that across the centuries we're about to learn about as the centuries unfold. The number seven has been significant in lots of ways. Um, so let's have another go and we'll sing the next bit as well. So the first bit, G7, you're an influential integer. And then the next bit, G7, as the centuries unfold, G7. All of that, here we go. One, two, G7, you're an influential integer. G Next little bit, from the dawn of our existence. From the dawn of our existence. So just sing that for me. It's a little bit higher, so you'll need to stand up nice and tall. It's probably better to stand than to sit if you're able to. From the dawn of our... After two, one and a two. From the dawn of our existence. And the last bit. G7, now the story can be told. And have that excitement you would have if you were about to tell a story. G7, now the story can be told. Three and a four. G7, now the story can be told. So let's put all of that back together again from the very start. G7, you're an influential integer. Back to the start. Here we go. One. Two. G7, you're an influential integer. G7, as the centuries unfold. G7, from the dawn of our existence. G7, now the story can be told. Good, I hope that's starting to get into your memory banks. The more you listen to it on the recording, the, the more um, it will really cement itself for you. Um, there's one more thing we need to do before we leave the first chorus. We need to get used to hearing the introduction. So um, I think for now, if you watch, I'll try and give you a really clear cue to come in. So here's the introduction. It's, it's a slightly odd place the song begins. So just keep an eye on me. And when I go, get ready to sing. Here we go. G7, you're an influential integer. G7, 
So I hope that your very first note is coming on really well. That's got to have such energy, doesn't it? When the piano finishes, G, so really throw almost throw your body weight into that first note, G seven. Shall we do it for the last time now? This first chorus with the introduction. So hopefully you've now got the notes and you've got verse one in the bag. Let's move to the second chorus. If you've got the music, this is at the end of page three. It's the last two notes of page three. So it's actually really about to start page four. If you've got the words, you need to find the bit where it says G7, you're such a lucky numeral. So these are our next words. You're such a lucky numeral forever in your prime. Here we go. So this time there's only one G. Instead of going G, it just goes G7. Here we go. One, two, three. G7, you're such a lucky numeral. G7, forever in your prime. G7, for all your sins and virtues. G7, for now. Time. So, I want to pick one line out to do again. Um, this is where it says, for all your sins and virtues. And it's this little bit where it goes a bit higher, where we're going to be make sure we're standing nice and comfortably. Um, for all your sins. What I want you to do is, on the highest note, which is virtues. And virtues. Did you hear what I did with the letter V? V just just make sure you put the letter V on the note you're singing. V so sing that with me. For all your sins and virtues. After three, two and a three. For all your sins and virtues. So when we get to that next time, make sure the letter V is really important. Virtues. So let's do this first one more time. G7, you're such a lucky numeral. Two, three. G7, you're such a lucky numeral. G7, forever in your prime. G7, for all your sins and virtues. G7, for now and for all time. Good, and hopefully some of you will find you've got uh, easier high notes and some of you will find you've got easier low notes. If you're someone that has a really good tone down low, I would use it at the very end. G7, for now and for all time. You know, a nice full sign. Shall we do that? Three and a four. G7, for now and for all time. So there's plenty of energy in the sound. Right, we're on to our third chorus. Um, if you've got the music, this is on page six. It's halfway down page six. And if you've got the words, it's G7, we recognize your majesty. So G7, we recognize your majesty. This is the number seven we're talking about. And remember how number seven has been significant across the centuries. And you find out how it's been significant and important uh, in the verse sections. But for the chorus, we recognise your majesty, your magic will prevail. We've got two M words. We've got majesty and then we've got magic. Let's have a sing through this. So one, two, three. G7, we 
recognize your majesty. G7, your magic will prevail. G7, so sing out loud the seven notes. G7, on the diatonic scale. So we got some strange words. We got the diatonic scale. We have an education pack which explains the words of the song, which is why I'm not really doing that in this tutorial. So you can look at the education pack about the song elsewhere on the Sing to G7 website. Um, for now, we just work on the word diatonic. Could you say that with me? And diatonic, diatonic. Um, look at that bit that says, so sing out loud the seven notes. How should you sing that? I think it's obvious, isn't it? If, it's, if you're singing the words sing out loud, you have to sing a bit louder. So can you make sure you give it a bit of extra energy there? So sing out loud the seven notes. Why don't you do that with me? One under two. So sing out loud the seven notes. G7 on the diatonic scale. And again, if you've got loud notes that are nice and low, then you can sing on the diatonic scale with a bit more full tone. Right. I think we'll just sing that verse one more time and then we'll move on to the last one. So here's the, the, the chorus that starts in the middle of page six again. G7, we recognise your majesty. Here we go. One, two, three. G7, we recognize your majesty. G7, your magic will prevail. G7, so sing out loud the seven notes. G7, on the diatonic scale. Okay. So we're now going to go to the fourth chorus. Uh, this is the last chorus. And if you've got the music, it starts on page eight. And it's towards the end of page eight. Um, G7, let nation speak to nation. And this is where the words change a little bit. They have been talking about the number seven and how important it is in lots of ways. And now we move to a very specific way the number seven is important, and that's the G7, the group of seven leaders of some of the biggest nations in the world, people who have the ability to influence all of our lives. So we're saying G7, let nations speak to nation. We want our leaders to speak to each other to solve the problems we all face. Let's have a look at this. One, two, three. G7, let nation speak to nation. G7, don't let the others down. G7, don't forget the not so fortunate. G7, or we'll run you out of town. And then we repeat. G7, let nation speak to nation. G7, don't let the others down. G7, don't forget the not so fortunate. And the very end can be done as a solo or with everyone. So the piano plays. Or we'll run you out of time. So you'll notice that last chorus is repeated. Um, when we repeat something in music, it's good to do it differently the second time. There's no point in just doing it the same. And, and more often than not, you have to sing it a bit louder. So when we repeat that last chorus, you have to raise the roof and really sing it strongly. You're, you're asking your leaders to speak to each other and to, to look after the, the not so fortunate as well. It's a nice, a nice sentiment and a nice message to give our leaders. And we're thinking about this as the world leaders prepare to meet here in Carbis Bay in Cornwall in, in June of this year, 2021. Thank you very much for being with me for this short video. I hope you enjoy uh, learning the song and tell us all about how you're getting on with it on social media. Thank you.